There's a reason they called it the Wild West. Oh, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. There's more silver here than I've ever seen. And the only thing keeping the peace was a rock wall. She's coming down! We don't want to fight, but if he tries to invade my claim, I will defend my own. Humiliation! You gotta get out of here. We got orders to shoot any Elmore man on sight. You're either with us or you're against us, Hal. Fire! I was just a young man when I first headed west. In the years that followed, I became a cowboy, a gunslinger, and even served as sheriff of Dodge City, one of the most lawless towns in the country. My name is Bat Masterson. Now I'm a reporter, and I've come west again to chronicle the world that I know best, the American West. The lure of gold, land, destiny flooded the frontier with men both good and bad. These are the incredible true tales of the Wild West. War Eagle Mountain, Idaho. One of the richest silver veins in the country. But for many of the men who worked below the ground, it became a tomb. Mr. Howard? Your master's in? I was hoping for a little of your time. Time is one thing I got plenty of. Hope we like it better. Supplies are scarce around here. That's fine. Thank you. Yep. Life of hard work makes a man brittle. You ever spend time down in mine shaft? Can't say as I have. You can go whole days without seeing sky. In all that dark, it's easy to lose your way. I understand there were Two claims inside the mountain, two rival companies? Yeah. I worked for the Ida Elmore. The other mine was called the Golden Chariot. Pick up the pace! We are days behind schedule, and Mr. Moore does not like being behind schedule! We're gonna work day and night until we get caught up. So move, move, move! I need you to come with me. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I brought him, sir. I'm John Holgate. I own the Golden Chariot. Yeah, I know who you are. Sam here vouches for you. Mr. Howard, I trust the men that work for me. I trust them with my life. Can I trust you? Well, I guess that's for you to find out, huh? James, we want you to deliver a message to your boss. Any reason you can't? He won't talk to us. Things have never been exactly friendly, but this is different. I'm afraid there might be violence. You don't think someone's planning to breach the wall? <laughs> well, 
What would you have me say? You tell Marion more. We don't want to fight. But if he tries to invade my claim, I will defend my own. I'll do what I can. My boss at the Ida Elmore, his name was Jane Marion Moore. He moved from one silver strike to the next, and bleeding towns dry. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes, sir. That, my boy, is what keeps the great engine turning. There's more silver here than I've ever seen. So, Mr. Howard, what can I do for you? Well, sir, uh, John Holgate asked me to say this. Um, with the shafts getting closer, it's only a matter of time before our side's face to face with the chariot mine. Now, Holgate said that he doesn't want the fight, but he's not gonna back down. You hear this, Jack? John Holgate sending threats through my own workers. And what do you propose I do about it? I won't presume to say. There's something ought to be done before that wall comes down. Years ago, on a hunting trip, I chanced upon a, a pair of wolves. They were snarling over a buffalo carcass. The first wolf was magnificent, strong. The second wolf was starving. Poor devil hadn't eaten in weeks. Do you know what happened? The hungry wolf was so fierce, so close to the end that he had nothing to lose. I saw he would fight to the death for those scraps. The bigger wolf saw it too and left him to it. Yes, the wall will come down. And when the dust settles, only one side can lay claim to that silver. I'll do respect. You're not exactly starving, Mr. Moore. <laughs> No. But I am hungry. Now that can't be your answer, sir. Not when we're staring down a fight. 300 feet below. That's coward talk. Things go south. Any yellow belly will have to answer to me. Mr. Howard. You have your message. I should have walked away then and there. I should have walked away from more. I should have walked away from all of it. But I told myself a man's got to work. I put my head down. And I waited. Millions of dollars in silver at stake and neither side blinked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had carried on. Both sides digging deeper and deeper. Till finally it happened.
This is chariot territory. And you men are trespassing. Go back on over to your side. There's no need for this to get ugly. Stop, stop, stop! Come on! Come on, get back! Stop! Look! He's right! We can choose to end this before it starts! Yeah? Right. Don't do that! Stop! Come on! Huh? Stop! 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 Come on! Hold on. Sam. Come on, boys. That's enough for today. Come on. Get out of the way. Let's get the rifles. Let him without sin cast the first stone. Hoped it would end there that day. Some bad blood, nothing more. I'm guessing that ended negotiations? Not quite. Holgate and Sam took one last stab at diplomacy. You got an appointment? Boss, not here. Gentlemen, how can I be of service? You call your boys off more. Let's patch up that wall before someone gets hurt. If you're having trouble maintaining your borders... You started this, and you can finish it. No amount of silver is worth its weight in blood. That, John, is why I'm going to win. Big talk. Coming from behind a desk. You let others do your dirty work while you sit pretty? You're a coward. Mr. Lockhart, however this ends, I will repay that remark. This meeting's done. You heard the man. John. Get ready, men. We didn't ask for this, but we are gonna hold our line. It's time to defend your livelihood, so pick your spots and call your shots. Not one Elmore man gets by you today, you hear me? Not one Elmore man. We don't need bullets bouncing around in here, so you pick your shots and you make them count. Golden Chair, let me hear you! Yeah. Let me hear you! Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? You gotta get out of here. We got orders to shoot any Elmore man on sight. You gotta help me calm things down, okay? Talking's done. We got word your boss ordered an attack. What? Yeah, no. No, I haven't heard anything. All right, men, grab a gun. We're going to war! Go. Where's Howard? Somebody go find him. Oh, no, 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 don't shoot, don't shoot. Come on, come on. Push on, boys. Let's take what's ours. Now, wait, 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 wait. Come on, they're all dug in. They're waiting for us now. You're either with us or you're against us, Howard. Let's move. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, go. Go, 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 go.
And kill the boss! Let's move! Turns out, I got lucky. They hauled me off the mountain straight to the dock. How long did the fighting go on? Five days and nights. Neither side gave an inch. Finally, word got out. And the governor sent a U.S. Marshal down his strong arm, Marion Moore. Told him if he didn't make peace, the army was going to make it for him. So they sent a man down in the mine with a white flag. Then it was over. Just like that. Just like that. What about Sam Lockhart? He make it out of the tunnels alive? Yeah, that's about all he did. Humiliation! That's what this is. If some governor thinks that Marion Moore will be brought to heels, Capital still runs this country, not the politicians. You said it, boss. That silver belongs to the man that's strong enough to take it. That is natural law. I am the fiercer wolf. Jack. Get my gun. Hey, Sam. Hey. I heard the fighting was over. But no one could say if you made it out. Here I am. Did you get John Holgate out? No, he's still in there. Go back and bury him proper. You dig that ball out of you? Yeah. Yeah, one piece. Three years enlisted in the army. Not a scratch. Now this. Where do we go from here? I can't say. But I do know I'm done fighting over another man's silver. Lockhart! We have unfinished business. It's over, Mr. Moore. Ain't your place to say, Howard. It is my place to say. There's still a piece of me left in that mountain because I didn't stand up sooner. No one calls me a coward and gets away with it. Watch me. You're weak, Sam. Weak like whole game. Don't you say his name, you murdering piece of... Oh, man. 
The Idaho Mine War claimed six lives, including John Holgate, Marion Moore, and Sam Lockhart. John Holgate was buried in Silver City. His funeral was attended by most of the town. The silver in War Eagle Mountain was valued at $60 million, over $1 billion today. Those of us who stayed lived and worked the best we could. A scar that deep never heals quite right. Well, you did everything you could to prevent it. It must bring you some peace. I couldn't save my friend. And what did he die for? A bit of earth wasn't even his. I've known plenty of heroes. Most of them leave a trail of bodies. As far as I can tell, a true hero is the one who seeks peace, whatever it costs him. Thank you, Mr. Masterson. Thank you, James.